Hi everyone, hope all is well. In today's video, our goal is to embed images from websites. For demo, I select the Amazon and Alibaba. Here is the product link for Amazon and this is for Alibaba. So let me explain the logic behind this button. When I press this button, it will look sheet 1 I found already embedded images then it will remove all of those and resize the row height to 15 else if not found like currently it's look like and it will take each link one by one and embed image from the link and place it with the respective columns so in column A for Amazon product column C for Alibaba and make the size of row height to 150 for locking the image clear so now I am showing you the demo by pressing this button you will see how it is working Now you can see the images are embedded from Amazon and also Alibaba. Now when I press it again so it will remove these images and resize the row height to 15. So this is the demo. Now let's move toward the code. So developer Visual basic insert new module give its name so sub amazon alibaba images so first let me place here this one application dot screen update false so the code execute Fast and below here we will make it true so when the code execution done so the Excel updated so now inside here we will reference this sheet to avoiding use again sheets sheet 1 etc so let me copy this one Control C. So this will reference WS reference sheet one. So now you we can use WS instead of sheets sheet one dot cell etc. I am copying the code step by step from the old for seven time. So now the logic is. First, it will lock a found already embedded image removed, else it will visit each link one by one. So here we will apply our conditional statement if else. So let me copy it from here. Sorry, so first let copy this, control C and pass it here. So this one it will put here only one product link for Amazon and Alibaba you can add more than one 10 20 100 up to so on so when you place all of the links here below so it will execute for all of them one by one so this will return the last row in column A now let me copy here the if condition and else control c 
control V and let me enclose end so now let's understand this so if WS mean sheet 1 shapes dot count greater than 1 so it will look the shapes we already include one shape for button so that's why it will look greater than one if it found then the code will come here inside the if statement then it will loop all of the shapes but here I apply the conditional statement for checking the shape must be below in row one I mean two three up to so on because if we apply one also then when we press it will remove also this button and we don't want to remove it so that's why I apply inside conditional statement for checking the row if the row is greater then it will delete and this loop will execute for the last row and make the row height to 15 like currently its look so here is the if statement and else this will take each link one by one and embed images for this let me copy the code from here and pass it here so now let's understand the else code this is the predefined structure that we are using for extracting data from website so if you are new on my channel I recommend visit the playlist link in the description watch it in sequence so you will know how it is working how you will set up your PC for this code now when it's visits the here so for i is equal to 2 to last row it will start from row 2 up to last row and inside this i applied the child loop for accessing the column so for 1 to 3 one is for amazon and the third is for alibaba so here you can see 2j it's mean row 2 column 1 link if not empty then execute this code visit this link and this is the x path for image on amazon so you know better how to write this x path if you watch my old videos if not kindly watch those so you know how to write this export according to your requirements and this is for Alibaba so for here I applied the conditional statement if j is equal to 1 its mean column a Amazon execute this code else Alibaba ws dot row row height is equal to 150 when no embed image the row height will be 15 we resize the row height to 150 for looking image clear the image path is equal to source and we are getting the source from amazon or alibaba image left mean the cell left position and img top mean the image cell top position so with the help of this we are getting the exact position of a cell this is the left and this is the top and these are the predefined for embedding image in excel so our concern is only these four variables so we already found the image left image top position and we are assigning here the width of image and height inside child loop I increment j is equal to j plus 1 because here in column a Amazon link then B price then in C column the Alibaba link and we want to skip this column 
so after executing column a the code execute column c directly so that's why i place increment here hope you get this logic if any query please ask in comment section thanks for watching the video